Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. My name is Jack Saganiak, and I'm a current junior in the Applied Investment Management Program at Marquette University covering domestic healthcare stocks. Today I will be presenting Catalyst Pharmaceuticals Inc, ticker CPRX, which is trading at $4.12 as of February 16th, 2021, and has an estimated price of $7.40. Business Overview Catalyst Pharmaceuticals is a biopharmaceutical company that develops and commercializes therapies for patients with rare, debilitating, chronic neuromuscular and neurological diseases. Catalyst is the exclusive provider of FERDAPS in the United States. Now, you might be wondering, what is FERDAPS? FERDAPS is a proprietary form of amifampridine phosphate that treats Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome, LEMS for short. This drug is the only FDA-approved evidence-based therapy for the treatment of LEMS in the United States. LEMS is a rare autoimmune neuromuscular disorder primarily characterized by weakness of the limbs, especially in the legs. FERDAPS aids in relieving some of the symptoms that LEMS patients may experience. Catalyst Pharmaceuticals was founded in 2002 and is headquartered in Coral Gables, Florida, which is just south of Miami. Recommendation. Catalyst Pharmaceuticals has the exclusive rights to sell FERDAPs in the United States until November 2025, meaning they will be able to sell FERDAPs competition-free until then. Generic forms of the drug are not allowed to be commercialized until that date at the very earliest. Catalyst also has plans to enter into new markets. They have just received approval and have began selling FERDAPs in Canada as of 4Q20 and have also received approval to begin clinical trials in Japan as of Q320. Finally, Catalyst is expanding their pipeline by exploring how FERDAPs can be used for other diseases, such as MUSKMG, SMA type 3, and Kennedy's disease, and by producing generic versions of Sabril, a drug used to treat complex partial seizures. It is recommended that Catalyst Pharmaceuticals be added to the AIM Equity Fund with a price target of $7.40 representing a potential upside of 79.52%. Driver number one, from far and wide, O Canada. The company has been given the green light to sell FERDAPs in Canada as of 4Q20. Upon this approval, Catalyst entered into a collaboration and license agreement with KYE Pharmaceuticals, who will be commercializing the drug in Canada. Catalyst will be receiving a mid-double-digit percent of net sales of FERDAPs in Canada in exchange for supplying the drug. The company is expected to report few Canadian sales in 4Q20 and take off in 2021. Driver number two, entrance to new markets. In May 2019, Catalyst entered into an amendment with their license agreement to extend their commercial territory in Japan. 21.32% of LEMS cases in the 7MM LEMS market are in Japan. That market consists of the United States, Japan, Germany, the UK, Spain, France, and Italy. In Q320, the company and Japanese officials have agreed to commence clinical trials of FERDAPs in Japan. The standard drug review process takes approximately 12 months making approval occur in Q3 21. In my model, I took a more conservative route and projected sales to begin in 2022. If FERDAPS reaches certain milestones in Japan, Catalyst can expand their commercial territory to South America and explore opportunities there. Driver number three, pipeline expansion. In August, 2020, FERDAPS produced positive results from their Phase 3 clinical trial for MUSKMG patients, 
meaning that it is only a matter of time before FERDAPS is approved for those patients. There are about 64,000 patients in the United States with this condition. Additionally, Catalyst entered into a definitive agreement with Endo Ventures Limited in 2018 to produce generic Sabril, a drug used simultaneously with other treatments for adults and children with refractory complex partial seizures, also known as CPS or epilepsy. Finally, Catalyst, ex Catalyst is exploring the use of FERDAPS for other rare diseases such as SMA type 3 and Kennedy's disease. To reach an intrinsic value for CPRX, a 10-year DCF model was created. Using a terminal growth rate of 1% and a WAC of 8.5%, an intrinsic value of $10.49 was reached. A sensitivity analysis of the terminal growth rate and WAC of plus or minus 50 bips ranged from $9.63 to $11.59. Additionally, an EV to EBITDA multiple valuation was calculated using an average peer multiple of 10.66, resulting in a relative value of $4.77. Finally, a price to sales multiple valuation was calculated using an average peer multiple of 3.98, resulting in a relative valuation of $3.83. By weighing these models, 50, 25, 25, respectively, a price target of $7.40 was reached, representing a 79.52% upside. Catalyst Pharmaceuticals does not pay a dividend. Risks. Risk number one, health regulations. Going through domestic and international health regulators is a long and uncertain process. Extended periods of time waiting for approval could lead to lost revenue if processes take longer than expected. In addition, pharmaceutical firms often face backlash and possible regulation due to perceived high drug prices. Risk number two, number of patients. LEMS is an extremely rare disease with only an estimated 3,000 cases of LEMS in the United States and only 50% of those cases being properly diagnosed. Because of this low number, the loss of only a few patients could be an adverse event for the company. Risk number three, alternative treatments. Other treatments such as steroids, azathioprine, and intravenous immunoglobin can be used to treat LEMS. These forms of treatments suppress the immune system rather than directly treating the root cause of LEMS. However, if certain patients feel more comfortable with these other treatments rather than FERDAPS, catalysts could experience a loss of revenue. Patrick J. McEnany is the founder of Catalyst Pharmaceuticals and is the current chairman, president, and CEO. He has held these positions since he founded the company 19 years ago, back in 2002. The CFO of the company is Alicia Grande, who is also the treasurer, principal accounting officer, and vice president. She has been with the company for 14 years. Mr. McEnany and Ms. Grande have worked hard together during their tenure, and they have finally delivered a profitable drug. Together, they plan to expand their addressable market and pipeline. In conclusion, Catalyst Pharmaceuticals has successfully commercialized and provided a safe treatment to patients with LEMS in the United States. They have just begun sales in Canada and are predicted to begin selling in Japan in 2022. In addition, Catalyst is expanding their product pipeline and FERDAP's customer reach to individuals with other rare diseases. Because of the geographical and pipeline expansion, it is recommended that Catalyst Pharmaceuticals be added to the AIM Equity Fund. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Feel free to send me an email, shoot me a text, or give me a call. Leave a question on the D2L discussion board or ask it live on the Q&A session on Microsoft Teams on Friday afternoon. 
Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.